Nobody forgot when you went away. You left this town without a word. To say. Woody takes his own individual approach to every melody, no matter who the songwriter is. Woody sings it like Woody's gonna sing it. And that's something I really like and think is cool about his style, his delivery. And you can almost be sure that, you know, a melody goes the way you think it's gonna go, and then there are gonna be a couple little tweaks and, um, and Woody-isms thrown in there. And they always make the song uh, personal and individual to his voice. He makes any melody you could write sound five times better. We learn from scratch. You know, our, at our very first gigs, we were screaming out the chords of Foggy Mountain Breakdown right before we kicked it off. You know, I mean, we literally learned on stage because we were playing in Chapel Hill and it was like a novelty and we were at the bars and our friends were there. And, and so, yeah, I, I feel like everybody has grown in a lot of ways and I feel like my singing has, has changed a lot. Yeah, once you realize that, you know, you're not gonna sing like Lester Flatt or Tony Rice or Doc Watson, the people that I really listen to a lot, or Jimmy Martin, you know, it took a while to just be comfortable and confident to do what you do and find your keys and be willing with the songwriters to adjust melodies to fit the how you might sing. I'm more proud of the singing on this record than, than any other one. And I always want to feel that way. You know, I hope that, that the, the direction keeps going up. Uh, I don't think that by any means my singing or anything is the best it can be yet. I think fly fishing and just kind of outdoor stuff in general, uh, I think they go well with the style of music and the type of people that, that we are and that bluegrass music tends to attract. And they've always seemed to go well together. Early in our touring career, we would go out to Colorado and places out west, and we might have two and three days between shows. But we seem to entertain ourselves by, uh, especially Graham and Charles and myself, by just uh, fly fishing. Or finding a you know hanging out with friends and picking but we also spent a lot of time in the trout streams around the particular areas that we were in over the years Graham Charles and I have fished a lot of places. I got those guys into it uh, back in college and they're both good fishermen now, and good fly fishermen, and it's something that we love to do. And we'll still meet people on the road that'll offer to take us fishing. And, and uh, it's something that if you're out there traveling the country and you're near great trout streams, and it's just uh, really fun for us to, to meet local people and, and see local rivers. In fact, my love of fly fishing was in part responsible for making the connection with Steve Martin. We originally met Steve Martin's wife through my brother. Uh, he, he was a house sitting a place up on the mountain here and they were vacationing and they met, uh, which led to them hiring me as a fly fishing guide. So I met her, this is well before she met Steve. So, you know, we met her and got to know her through the fishing and he, uh, came up here on a vacation one weekend and Mike and I got invited to go over to a dinner party. And they're like, you know, Steve Martin's in town and he's got his banjo. The whole thing just kind of caught us by surprise. At one point in my life, I was pretty sure I was gonna move back to Brevard or somewhere in Western North Carolina and open up a fly fishing lodge. I'd been guiding fly fishing trips since, uh, you know, mid high school years, late high school years. And um, just something I love to do. And I, I thought it was gonna be my my career. Then I was presented with the uh, challenging decision of moving into a full-time kind of guiding fly fishing trips after college or uh, the bluegrass band. What we had started with the Steep Canyon Rangers was so fun and so new and seemed like it was going to be successful where I just made the decision that uh, that's what I wanted to do and maybe not do the fly fishing thing. Yeah. 